Hey what's going on guys, James here from Manifest Griefing and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to code your very own Minecraft client. Alright guys, so again what we're going to be doing is we're going to make our very own client and um, I'm going to be explaining the basics to this. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to set up check keys and um, all those stuff to toggle our very own hacks inside our client uh, now what you're looking at right now is the Eclipse menu um, if you don't have Eclipse installed you're gonna wanna look back on my other um, my other tutorial which pretty much tells you how to set up Eclipse with MCP and uh, once you've set everything up it should look like this and we're going to wanna go into the client folder which is in your project explorer right here and um, so there's should be two folders client and server we're going to be altering the client folders because we're making a client um, there shouldn't be any server folders here um, because we haven't imported any server folders um, and we're not altering any server folders so only focus on this client folder um, there should be an arrow here and you can just click on that to extend it and we're going to want to go into the SRC which is basically the source codes and there should be a ton of uh, these packages here now when you're coding your very own client there should be two main packages that you have to focus on the first one is net.minecraft.src and the second one is net.minecraft.client now basically what these these packages do is net.minecraft.client pretty much um, runs the client and makes sure everything is running good and there's no errors or anything and once minecraft has run it basically loads all of the java files in net.minecraft.src now if i go ahead and extend net.minecraft.src you're going to see a lot of these java files now we're going to be altering one file um, in this tutorial one or two files and what that file is going to be is GUI in -game Java. now as you can see all these java files are in alphabetical order and if i scroll down um, i'm going to go into GUI in -game Java. so go ahead and double click on that and you should get something like this uh... so what we're going to be doing is importing a few uh... files so as you can see right here on the second line it says import.java.aut.color now there should be a plus sign right next to that import and we're going to click that and it should extend um, um, all these imports now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, import something new so go ahead and start a new line and we're going to um, type in import org.lwjgl okay lwjgl.input.keyboard and there you go so basically what we just did there is we just imported the keyboard file alright so once you've got that we're going to make a new private boolean and under this line there should be a bracket right here and we're going to basically make a new line and type in private boolean key and with a capital S states and then opening and closing square brackets now we're going to move on to the next step so um, in public GUI in game minecraft par1 minecraft we're gonna make a new line and we're going to put in key I'm sorry lowercase key and then with a capital S states equals new boolean 256 and end that off with a semicolon uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make um, a new method um, basically what this does it's saying that if I hit a certain key it will activate a hake um, so yeah that's basically what we just did now we have check keys enabled and now we can actually start the real fun stuff which is basically altering the look of minecraft let me just do one more thing before we end this tutorial off and this is basically branding your very own client so in other words it's basically putting a name to your client so we're gonna hit control F and I'm gonna go and search for pop matrix and uh, you should be taken right here and there should be an ending bracket right here now we're gonna put an else statement 
and we're going to open that up with these curly brackets now basically what this is saying it's basically telling the client to do whatever we have up here plus whatever we're about to put in this else statement so what we're going to put is our very own header for our client um, so we're going to put var8 dot draw string now we're going to open that up with parentheses and we're going to put two quotation marks now whatever you put in this quotation mark is what's going to render on screen so I'm going to name this um, this uh, client viux um, that's kind of just a random name uh, but whatever so uh, now we're going to put a comma space and whatever we put in this parameter is basically um, the spacing I believe it's from the left so if I put if I put two it's two units from the left and then I'm gonna put comma space and the next parameter is the spacing from the top so if I put two again that's two from the top um, then comma space and then now I can put in a color now uh, Minecraft uses HTML color codes and uh, it basically it goes a little bit like this 0x and then the six six unit I'm sorry six character color code so I'm gonna put this as white so f f f f f f boom there we go so now if I save this and run this all right and as you can see on the top left it says VX and uh, basically yeah you can put in anything on those um two I'm sorry in between those two quotation marks and that's basically what it's gonna render alright so that's basically how you do it and um there should be another tutorial up pretty soon uh, because I'm gonna teach you guys a little more advanced things um how to make your GUI look better and all that good stuff so yeah hopefully this this tutorial help you guys um and yeah I'll check you guys out in the next one bye